Hi guys, lovely to meet you. And you. Likewise. Congratulations on the TV series. Hilary, I know you're married to Peter Foote, so it must have been a very exciting day in your house when you got the news that the BBC had commissioned the TV series. Yeah, absolutely. I was just saying earlier, actually, that uh, we were just sitting around having a bit of dinner at the kitchen table when Peter checked his email and it came in from the BBC, from Alex Moody, who's uh, the commissioner who did just such a wonderful job in supporting us. And it said, literally, you're greenlit, write, shoot and deliver as fast as you can. Amazing. So it was like panic stations. And then we found a bottle of champagne and drank that. <laughs> <laughs> first things first, yeah, yeah. celebrate. Panic for a split second, then celebrate. So. Yeah, yeah, amazing. And PJ, you're back, yeah. um, but not as we might have remembered you from the movie. You have a completely different role. Yeah. Um, tell us about that. Well, tell me, well, I'm not a drug dealer anymore, no, which is nice. No, much more civilised member of yeah. society. It turns out I would have made a really good drug dealer and I've tried <laughs> a different career, but now I'm different. I'm a headmaster of a school now, mm. uh, Principal Barry Walsh, which is probably the most responsible role I've ever played. Yeah. Every Everyone else I've ever played is either an idiot or a complete tosser. And uh, <laughs> Barry's actually a nice guy. Yeah, uh, you know, yeah. He's actually really nice because his heart's in the right place. He does yeah. everything wrong, but his heart's in the right place. He's a bit of an Asher God love us, isn't he? Yeah, he is, yeah. yeah. He's the conservative uncle that <laughs> does his best and, you know, everybody has to play nice around him because he gets upset easy. And, yeah, you know, yeah. But, uh, yeah. But it's great to be still involved in it. The yeah. hard part was just coming up with a new character when everybody else already had their character. That was yeah. the hard part. But, uh, you know... I think I got there. We'll yeah. See, yeah, and was that you? I mean, or was it you and Peter that, that sat down together and were talking about which way oh, yeah. to oh, bring Pe you back in? Peter's or? like, yeah. Well, Peter apparently said, which Hillary told me, that <laughs> Peter sat, sat down and says that PJ's going to be in it when we move forward into the TV show. Obviously, I didn't know that at the start. So yeah. uh, if I hadn't known that, I might have been more confident when I was talking to him. <laughs> yeah. but, then I, but then I sat down with him and he uh, he's like really sort of strict when, he comes to, when it comes to building characters. Like he yeah. really tries to f you get you to feed information and build it up. So I was sitting in a room with him and he's like, oh, what does your character do? How does a school work? He, he said, maybe go off and figure out how schools work. Really? Yeah, and what do these people actually do? And like, how does a budget of a school work? And why is that frustrating? And I'm like, yeah. these are things I really don't care about in my yeah, life. Yeah. <laughs> and here I am studying them so I can play this other character. Yeah, and, yeah. and then of course, I'm not a father either. And he just like one day puts me into a room with two 16 year old girls. And he's like, <laughs> get to know each other. And I'm like, this is really not comfortable for me. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Uh, but it was great, you know, it's, it, experiences you'd never have normally. Yeah, and yeah. it's the right way to, you know, yeah. to get your character together. Yeah, and were you tempted to do the Cork accent at all this time around? I was tempted, but it's definitely You're never going to be yeah. I'm not though. I know I'm, you I'm, are. I'm, I'm good at Cork accent. There, I'm not though. I'm not though. <laughs> <laughs> I can't do it. You like, can't do it. You can't do it. I can't, I'm telling you. Right. <laughs> I'd love to have done the Cork accent, but I don't think anyone in Cork would have been fooled by it. So would I think, been like, hmm. Yeah, yeah. Hmm. And then it would be, why didn't they just get a Cork person to play yeah, it off? Which yeah. is a really fair point. So, yeah, <laughs> yeah, so, yeah, yeah. So I stuck with my usual. Stuck with what you knew. What I knew. Um, and what did you find it like uh, getting everyone back together on set again? Did you find the same magic was still there? Was it different vibes this time? No, because the movie had been a success? It or? was still there. And actually, yeah. it was even more so because we just managed to get the most amazing crew. Um, like from start to finish they were unbelievable and it became like I know it's a really cliche to say it oh we were such a family on set but it really did it was just such a great buzz it yeah. was lovely like you it was enjoyable showing up uh, to work every day and you know doing even scenes that were or days that were long or scenes that were tough like it was all enjoyable in the end you know it was yeah. brilliant I really loved it it was a great job yeah. you know you're in tr you know things are going well that when you're getting in trouble in work it's because you're having too much fun you know? <laughs> yeah. when people are saying to you will you shut up you know, we're on a deadline, you know, because you're laughing and you're having yeah, the fact, you yeah. know that. We still have a WhatsApp group that's going six months later. Yes. Like, really? Yeah, every other day there's stuff going up in it and everyone's yeah. going off on different jobs. Well in that WhatsApp group. <laughs> <laughs> and one thing I love about your character, um, Maraid, is um, how she's just constantly angry and pissed yeah. off. Um, but like that, when you're on set and you're having so much crack, like, how are you, like, what are you doing to, like, get into the character of a really angry woman all the time? <laughs> I was just saying earlier, like, I... I um, for about two weeks I found myself really angry probably the first two weeks that I was on set yeah. I was really angry and kind of aggressive and really annoyed at everybody and just pissed off in general yeah. and then I couldn't figure out why 
And then I was like, okay, it's obviously the character. I'm just not able to let it go. So after the two weeks, I just kind of figured it all that out and just said at lunch breaks, say goodbye to her. And then, you know, in yeah. evenings, say goodbye to her again, you know. And you just have trigger points that you can snap back into. But yeah. I did have to consciously let her go and leave her at the door. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She's really stressful. I was exhausted <laughs> by the end of it. such a hard life, though. Yeah, yeah. she's Elmer hardcore. Aid. She is hardcore. Poor Elmer Aid. Yeah, she doesn't have it easy. <laughs> and then the two young lads then, um, obviously are doing so well for themselves now, Chris and Alex. Um, what's like to work with them and could you see straight away that they sort of like that they would become so loved by people watching it ah uh, yeah yeah they're brilliant like the two <coughs> lads are fantastic they're mm. like it's just great to be 43 and being able to hit your wagon on young talent and letting them pull you into a series you've no business be it's fantastic yeah i'm so, so glad they're so talented they make us all look good yeah, yeah, they're, they're, yeah. no they're brilliant like do you know what and it's their it's their kind of natural personalities shine through the characters as well yeah. they're very lovable and they're you know they're they're really good guys yeah, yeah. it's like, like yeah. And they're just so good at what they do. You yeah, know? they're just so really good at what are. they do. I think and so different in real life. When they, they were sitting opposite me, I was like, oh, you don't really seem like. I didn't recognize him. When I met Alex the first time, he waved at me in the street and I was like, yeah, and just walked past him. <laughs> and he's like, PJ Gallagher is a shit. Yeah. <laughs> but I just had no idea who he was. I think one of the hardest jobs of the whole series was Demi and Jennifer. Uh, the two young girls who had to come in mm. and then they had to like make their characters grow and then play opposite those guys for the whole series yeah, and that must absolutely, have been yeah. a huge ask. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Absolutely, they did uh, a great job. So. Finally, I've heard that it's done really well over on the BBC for you guys. Um, so there, I mean, I'm sure there will be some sort of rumours about a second season. Are you as well up for that? Is that the plan? Or oh yeah, yeah, ah, yeah, oh, yeah. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe yeah. second, third, fourth. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Six, <laughs> seven, yeah. eight. Yeah. Watch those lads grow up on screen. <laughs> yeah, yeah. When it's the old defender. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Old <laughs> exactly. I would still the, watch that. Yeah, the middle-aged defender. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Series sixteen. Yeah, yeah no. absolutely. Yeah. Uh, well, <laughs> yeah, hopefully. I mean, it's one of those things you kind of have to. Yeah. Keep your fingers crossed and hope, hope for, for the, the best. best. It's still yeah. any days. But we just heard that it's like number three on the BBC player. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Which is EastEnders is always one and two apparently and now it's number three. So all the other BBC stuff is under Young Offenders. Yeah. Which is great because we that all know it's much better than EastEnders. Yeah. People are addicted <laughs> to misery. <laughs> And they just love being miserable, yeah, and that's what yeah. I watch it for. That's well, all. next stop, like knocking EastEnders off the number one. Then. Absolutely, yeah. EastEnders <laughs> is just sarcasm, anyway, isn't it? Yeah, like, yeah. Mark, it's dull. Would you like me to get some wildebeest and wait them out? It's like it's just so, people See, being you're sarcastic. So the for. accents, I think. Yeah. yeah. Season three of Young Offenders, we have to have you do an accent of some kind. Awesome. Um, anyway, guys, it was lovely to meet you, and best Likewise. of luck with it.